everybody, it's Disney Queen Skelly. So as you remember, I did fun facts about the Snow White movie. Now it's time to do fun facts about the Snow White Scary Adventure ride in Disneyland. So just a little fun fact, an easy way to remember the names of all seven dwarves, two S's, two D's, and three emotions. Sleepy, sneezy, dopey, dog, happy, grumpy, bashful. Pretty easy. When Snow White sings, her voice is the original voice of Snow White. 18-year-old Adriana Cas... Casalotti trained and trained in Italian opera when the newly restored Snow White Scary Adventure reopened in 1983 following renovations a new soundtrack was recorded featuring Adriana Casaletti, the original voice of Snow White. In Snow White Scary Adventure there's only one figure of Snow White and four of the Wicked Witch in the entire ride. You only see Snow White once and the witch four times because you are supposed to be her and see the ride through her point of view. A Snow White Scary Adventure is right after you come out of the dwarf's cottage and you out into and out into the woods, you see a figure of the Wicked Queen peeking into the cottage window. She says, these dwarves cannot hide Snow White from me, or soon I'll be the fairest of the land, or something like that. On annual pass holder night, Snow White's Adventure and Peter Pan were both rigged for, walk, for, a walk, for walking through, and you got to see how some of the effects work. There is a book stand right when you enter the building on to, on the ride, to the ride. On the book stand is an apple. If you touch it, thunder clasps and the Wicked Queen laughs. There is a disappearing apple in Snow White's scary adventure. The glowing apple held by the evil witch is apparently stolen frequently by guests, often daily. The apple is often stolen and cast members must follow a car, must follow a car into the ride to replace it. There is a bag of apples behind the scenes, which apple each apple costing $16. Disney goes through these apples pretty fast because the apple is stolen sometimes more than once a day. It also is a real pain to replace while the ride is in normal operation, so please don't steal it. Plus, if you're caught, you'll be fined $400. Also, the reason the apple is not glued to the witch's hand is because people would end up stealing the whole hand. The apple in Snow White, in the Snow White ride, cannot be stolen anymore. It's screwed down tight. According to the Mouse Tales, a behind-the-ears look at Disney, it says because of the tradition of Grad Knight of stealing the poisoned apple. Disney made the apple an optical illusion, but for all I, but for all we know, they may have taken us away now, since now, since you guys say it is still there. The apple in Snow White is not screwed down. The first apple when the witch comes out on her robo is always loose and remains unplugged, unglued. December 2000, they had taken the poison apple from the witch only to discover that it had been switched to a perfect and quite real orange. Thinking Disney had done this to cut down on the cost, they figured it would be the same as this, the same this past time. However, it was early enough that they discovered it was time to, it, that this time it was a glowing apple. Looks like someone is switching the apple with different fruits as a joke to others who decide to take the poisoned apple. When you go by the apple that makes the thunder clapping noise, look straight up and you will see a little, you will see a tile filled with signatures of people who made the ride. It includes Roy Disney. The apple held by the Wicked Queen in Snow White's Scary Adventure is no longer 3D. It is an optical illusion, a hologram. It cannot be stolen or even touched for that matter. On Snow White's Scary Adventure, the Wicked Witch is now an illusion. It is a projector shining the Wicked Witch into the scene. Next time you are waiting in line at the Peter Pan attraction, look up at the uh, turret on top of the Snow White attraction. Every 30 seconds to one minute or so, the Wicked Queen animatronic figure opens the curtains, looks down on the crowd for a few seconds, and then pulls the curtains closed again. Sometimes it's easier to see this at night. Very few people notice unless they know to look up and wait for it to happen. When the Wicked Queen peeks out of the curtains from the window above the entrance of the ride, she used to do so to different degrees. First a small peek, then throw the curtains wide open. Incidentally, that used to scare. My, incidentally, that used to be scary, but nowadays she opens them all the way every time. In Disney's video, A Day at Disneyland, it shows the Queen opening and closing her the curtains a couple of times. In the early years, there used to be races through the ride. The cast members would turn out the lights so it was dark and as heck, and you had to run through racing the other cast members. The trick was, though, not being the fastest, but actually knowing the track itself. There is a red sensor, sn in, there is a red sensor Snow White Scare Adventure behind a bucket of jewels when you are passing through the mine. It is used to activate a recording saying, please keep your hands and arms inside the car and remain seated at all times. 
This is to keep guests from stealing the jewels. Uh, there is a small Tinkerbell in the mining area to the right behind a load of jewels in the tiny cave. In the cottage scene at the beginning of the Snow White Scare Adventure, that's Grumpy's playing the organ, Sleepy playing the fiddle, Bashful on the guitar, Happy on the accordion, Doc on the mandolin, and Dopey, who has climbed up on the shoulders of Sneezy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.